Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 13th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun as we had some pretty active regions there. Large plasma filaments spinning away from the northwest region and southeast region. And then a couple plasma filament collapses on both the north and south in your hemisphere. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming. Large event there, northwest region, right hand side as well as Southern Hemisphere plasma filament collapsing onto the surface. Looking at outgoing imagery here, it's where we see that plasma filament eruption. We also had quite a large event on the back side of the sun. Won't be visible here, but it is visible on the LASCO images. Full halo CME from a large flare. Having a look here at multi-spectrum at all of the major events over the past 48 hours. We do have a coronal hole that has developed equatorial region of our sun and is now earth facing. You can see that here at 171 angstroms. I was noting out all of the sunspots. We have five earth facing sunspots right now, but I was also noting out the plasma filaments and since I did do that, they have all either ripped away or fallen back into the surface. Having a look here at space weather conditions, we are under an S1 minor solar impact right now, solar radiation storm impacts, minor impacts on high frequency radio in the polar regions, solar X-ray flux climbing right down into a B range after one C-class flare overnight. Solar Proton Flex definitely seeing an increase here. I'm pretty sure those are effects from that full halo CME. Having a look at the real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 333 kilometers per second. But look at the density bunches there, 13.4 steadily rising up. ISPA Space Prediction Spiral, here's that large backside CME blast giving Mercury a little glance, but literally a full halo CME. And you can see that affecting all the way around the sun. And then here is the most recent CME from that Southeast region plasma filament eruption set to give us a glancing blow here in the next two days. So 16th into the 17th, expect some space weather events as well as 14th there looking at that stream. NOAA Space Prediction Spiral here showing the same thing. And then look at this large halo CME on the LASCO 3 images. Wow. Massive halo CME on the backside of the sun. I really would have loved to have been able to see it. And God, that was not in an earth facing fashion. And let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours. We're going to start out in Yellowstone as we are seeing an earthquake swarm right now, only showing four earthquakes here through the region west of Yellowstone in Montana. Having a look at USGS, they are reporting 78 earthquakes throughout the region, and that has only just started today. So these are all earthquakes today. We're seeing a small swarm west Yellowstone towards the Purple Mountains. And since then, activity has calmed down at the Tanaga Volcano through the Aleutian Islands. Quick glance there, looking at only 31 there today. Across the rest of the United States, 3.0 there, Mandero, BC, Mexico border, as well, Haida Gwaii, Canada, 4.2, that's Port McNeil. And then looking at Alaska, minor activity through the region. Four is ringing out all across the West Ring of Fire. Most recently there in Kuril, Russia. Largest to report the last 24 hours, Papua New Guinea, 5.2, 127 kilometer depth. And the deepest today, Levuka, Fiji, 5.0, 
552 kilometer depth. As well, 4.7 there, notable. In New Zealand, 4.0 earthquake here in China, West Xinjiang. Activity coming back to Turkey as well, seeing three earthquakes through the region, largest being a 4.7 and that 4.2 were Romania. 4.9 reported here, South Sandwich Islands, so seismicity continues there. South America definitely saw an increase, 5.1 here, Peru, 4.5, Salta, Argentina, as well as 4.5, 4.7, Peru. And then we get to the Dominican Republic, and look at here, we had a 4.6 magnitude, as well as two 3.7s through the region, 3.9 as well, Dominican Republic. Puerto Rico <clears throat> definitely seeing some activity today a little bit worrisome quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers across the world seeing increasing activity through the North American plate as well as southwest region ring of fire and of course Alaska through the Aleutian Islands this week Pretty deep earthquakes there, Tajikistan, and as well some deep movement through Europe. But stay heads up everybody, stay aware and prepared. A lot of activity here through Central America, expecting something big. Maybe even up towards the Cascades. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoy the videos. If you do, please don't forget to smack that like button. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well the most recent volcanoes. Got ERA in Japan. Lots of flood alerts going out through China and as well Australia. United States. Reventador in Ecuador. Sangay in Ecuador, Swiss in Najima in Japan, Sabincaya in Peru, Fuego in Guatemala, as well, of course, Merapi, Indonesia, Popocatetl in Mexico, Ebico in Russia. So that's about 12 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 48 that are active and erupting across the world. Not to mention there in Nevada's Del Ruiz. Quick glance here at satellite imagery. This is the last three days of imagery. We do have a pretty large low pressure system heading up into the northeastern United States. Stay tuned for a quick forecast there. New York City is going to about to get hammered. Then you've got the atmospheric river that's affecting the west coast, California, and northward. Watch for that to continue. Full details coming up quickly here with the forecast. Cyclone Freddy is still alive. Atmospheric river stretching off of Madagascar towards the southern parts of Australia. As well, a pretty deep system. Eastern Mediterranean hanging out over Turkey. And some big windy systems heading into the United Kingdom. And now let's get to the weather forecast here. We have one low pressure system here off the coast of United States. Watch for some extreme weather as that makes landfall tonight. As well, we've got a low pressure system coming in to California and one already moving northward. Coming into the BC interior. Let's put this into motion. For tonight, watch for heavy rains, strong winds, and as well some heavy snowfall through parts of New England and northeast regions of the United States. And then watch as this gets up into Atlantic Canada and affects Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and PEI. And then eventually, by Wednesday, we'll be affecting Newfoundland with some very strong northeasterly winds and as well, lots of moisture being fueled up into that system. By that time, we'll have a pretty big system here developing through the United States. Watch for extreme weather breakout, especially through the Gulf states. 
So this is 17th into the 18th. Watch for snow on the back side of the system. And also watch for some pretty warm temperatures ahead of that. But then cold temperatures yet again. And then overlooking the west coast here, put this into motion as we have a low pressure system making landfall tomorrow and into Wednesday, California, like they haven't seen enough moisture already. So definitely flood alerts, watch, flood watches and alerts for California all the way down to Los Angeles. And then after that, our next major system will be just around springtime. But watch for that to quickly diminish into the Atlantic. Long range forecast, we do have some pretty big systems there coming in. Overlooking is South America. No major systems affecting you this week. Daily evaporation rains. Nothing major to report. And then overlooking Africa, Madagascar and the Indian Ocean. Cyclone Freddy is still on land, South Africa, through parts of Mozambique. Then eventually here by Thursday, it will be scooting southward. But not before some more systems here developing through the Indian Ocean. Stay tuned for the next forecast for long range forecast. Overlooking Europe. As noted and forecasted this week, big systems affecting the United Kingdom and spreading lots of moisture, but high pressure has built in over Italy. Long range forecast, most of this moisture will be staying northward. Overlooking Southeast Asia, West Pacific, no major typhoons nor cyclones developing, but heavy rains through India. Myanmar, and then Australia. As you have a low pressure system off the southeast region heading towards New Zealand, affecting them by Wednesday into Thursday. And then long range forecast, it's gonna be dry until then, but long range forecast, we do have a cyclone developing here for New South Wales. This is the 22nd into the 23rd. Looks like it will make landfall as it rakes down the coast and then out into the South Pacific. So heads up, my Aussie friends, you do have a cyclone on your doorstep. Well, not quite on your doorstep, but out on your front lawn and will be coming in for the 23rd into the 24th. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific as we still have atmospheric moisture, atmospheric river of moisture affecting the United States and northward up into BC and Alaska. Another big system there coming into California. Heads up everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button and maybe share with your friends and family. Much love and thank you so much for watching. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily too. We'll see you next video. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.